Hello, this is Michael Cassidy. Thanks for coming to our channel. We're going to be doing a perm. I haven't done perms probably in seven, eight years. But one week I especially did like 17 perms and 140 something haircuts that week. And I had to cut each one of the perms, but I was working six days a week until about 10, 11 o'clock every night. And the next week I had to lay out of work. I couldn't even work. My back fell out of shape with me. So, But now we're going to be going. I've been doing just the haircuts. Now I'm going to go back and show you some of the things we did years ago. And uh, like, like I say, with the perms, get the moisture out before you put moisture in. Get the stuff out before you put stuff in. That's stripping it. I stripped it real good with a real good stripper this morning. I got it really clean. Before you can put a good perm in a head of hair, you need to get it good and clean. If you get it good and stripped, the solution will take. Keep it moist while you're wrapping it. Keep it moist the whole time. And at the very end, make sure that uh, you should probably take uh, something to go over it right before. We'll, and I'll be showing you that in the video. But um, I'm going to start out by rolling it pretty tight. She wants a snug perm. I've done her hair over the years many, many times. and. Uh, but uh, she likes it really curly. So we're going for like a, a pink and a gray roller mixed. And I'm going to be using a quantum extra body perm today. So uh, it's probably going to take one perm and maybe possibly two perms on it. I don't know. But what I'll do is make sure I get the moisture out before I put the, per the rest in. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the rolling to start with. And uh, let's go here and park this thing off just a little bit. Hold your head back please, man. Okay. I told her I wanted to make sure we did this video just to let people see a perm completely. And she agreed to do it. I said, I won't stick the camera in your face or anything like that, so you'll feel comfortable. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her one of my best looking perms I can give her today. And like, like I say, you never forget how to do these things, to roll these things if you ever start doing them. And uh, I know it's a lot of people, some of the ones I had, I trained and all, didn't really want to do a perm. It's a lot of work. Yeah. But it really turns out good. What I'm gonna do is get a, a section that's about as wide as the, uh, uh, as close as as wide as the. Uh, give me a paper, please, ma'am. Okay. I think we're gonna roll it back off of the face, so we're gonna start with a. Uh, I'm gonna start with a gray roller here, just a little bit looser, right around the face, and I'm gonna push forward and come down. That's going to give me a uh, stay on the base completely there, pretty pretty snug on the base is what we want. And that's going to give us a real tight, a little bit tighter perm that way. And it's going to look really good. So keep the moisture on it while I'm rolling it to start with. I'll go with the pink one now. I'm going to push forward on this right lower to really uh, get the look that we need with this perm. So I need to get that thing where I can... They can see what I'm doing a little bit. I, hope, I don't want to put you in a strain. Can you hold your head back anymore? Okay. Right, right there. Mm -hmm. Right there. I want to put you in a strain. Give me one more paper there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably the best way to do this thing is actually to moisten a little bit more. While you're doing it, you're going to keep it. I'm going to put a gray in here now. I'm going to push forward and roll down directly on base. I know the uh, master hair uh, barbers mostly do a closer to the is what they really push a close to the hair perm head perm so but if you want to get the curl you got to kind of push forward basically to get a better curl on that I want to go back and show you what I know on these things here it's simple easy everyday stuff doing a good perm if you know what he's doing but push forward again come down without rolling with too much tension if you roll with too much tension you're going to break and you're not going to have the moisture solution to getting through the hair like you need to. And, uh, you want to make sure that you don't get it too snug. If you moisture it a little bit, it'll loosen up a little bit too as you do it. I think it'll moisten up just to loosen up just a little bit enough for it to take solution. And uh, if I keep this thing pretty wet while I'm doing it, I think I'm going to have a better results right at the very end. And. Uh, as far as uh, being about the right moisture, you don't want to get it too dry, but you want to get it dry enough where it will take the solution. So here's what we're doing here. I don't know if you can see anything I'm doing. My arm might be in the way, but uh, you can see it's been seven, eight years since I really did perms that much. But uh, I still know what I'm doing on them. You never forget, it's like riding a bicycle. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go back to doing a few more of them because. Uh, on that economy, it's sometimes on Mondays and Tuesdays is a little slower. 
haircutting business has been since we started uh, the last five years. It seemed like the economy has just been a little bit off. And uh, I know I always had more than I could do when I did just the, when I did perms and haircutting. And, uh, but I don't like doing them during the middle of the day. I'd rather just cut during the day, maybe do them early in the morning or late in the afternoons. And I'll uh, roll this one again here. You see what I'm doing? Cut my sections out. It's not going to take me a long to roll up. I'm not going to show the whole roll up on this video, though, but I'm going to come here and push forward again. Roll this one up. Okay. I'm going to do a few more down here where you can see them a little better, and then I'm going to cut the video off of we'll get further along with it, and then I'm going to have a solution on it. I'm sorry, hold, grab two of those for me. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I always cut back over it at the very end, I think. Cut back over, just trim back over the haircut. I cut our hair previously the other day, and uh, we talked about doing a perm in it. But I'll cut over it afterwards, make sure if we have any fish hooks or anything, they'll be out of there. We won't have to worry about that. They won't be in there. You know, that one week I did 17 perms, I worked myself crazy mm. that week. Uh, and I was working early in the morning, late in the afternoon. And uh, I, the next week I couldn't even work. I made lots of money that week. <laughs> but you need to work every week like that. Not that much. <laughs> you, need to, you need to have good money each week coming in. But of course, we were a lot cheaper then back in those days. Everything's cheaper. So. I'll push up on this one too. Lift it forward to put it right down on base. You get a gray. I hadn't done perm in a year, and my sister was in here doing the perm one day and said, getting ready to do one. So I'm not rolling this thing up for me real fast. She was in a hurry. <laughs> I went there and I scorched it, rolled it up real quick, you know, because I'm fast at doing it. And uh, next one, next time one more will be rolled up again. She liked it so good. Turned out really good, but uh, like then I didn't do it. I was so busy doing the other work. something you get fast at of doing it over the years. Doing it so much. Okay, I might not lift these up quite as much here. Gonna roll up good, that curl, no problem. My sister was about the only one that uh, kept me in curls when I had it so long. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, your hair is extremely thick. And <laughs> I always like the way a perm took in your hair. So thick. I think I might roll pink all the way down here at the bottom. That longer length, you might need a little more curl there to make it up. Rescue 
got a head of hair for. Basically, I need to get around to hit three and a half times, really, to get a good curl a lot of times. You get around a roll of three and a half times, most of them is going to look pretty decent. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop and I'm going to come back just in a little bit here. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll be finishing up here in a little bit. Okay, we're working on this perm. You notice what I did here. You, when you have this, you have this section here, make sure that you roll it on this on this end of your rod here where you'll have this hanging over back here. Got one missing there. That you'll get this out of the way where you can get the next layer. You want to make sure that this edge of it and this overlaps. Let me just show you what we're doing here. This one. Okay, we'll use a gray one here. Well, let me see. We dampen this one again. Pull this straight out. Okay. This end of your roller. Get more on this edge. That way it can overlap at the back. So you can put a, put it right down and have room for your next X line in there. If you put it over here, you're gonna be sticking over on this side. So let me show you a few more right here with the pink. Get on this edge with it, have it hanging over back on the left side. Let me get this out. Start that again, that's not that right. Okay. Pull straight down. Well, have a little trouble with that one. Let's see what I got here. Peach roller again. Okay, that's not working out. Let me make sure I get a didn't go up a little higher. There's what it is. Okay. Now get some more. Make sure I go down nice and good. Pull that one out. I don't have to roll that separate. That's from up. The next one would happen. Let's go right here. That's where I missed one at. I, here's where the problem's at on that. I got one coming through here. Let me pull this one back out. Put it back in where it came from. And we'll be okay. See, I rolled it where it actually rolled down and the, the overhang was back here. Oh. So that's actually going to do better. Okay. I'm going to cut the camera off right now and we'll start again when I put the solution on. Okay, there's three basic processes. Uh, process this be the fixative or, or, or not fixative, the uh, ammonia thioglycolic acid. Processing, neutralizing, and conditioning. That's three basic parts you want to do with a perm. So you can see what this thing turned out like. We'll take. I don't do a lot of conditioning right after one day. A few days you can, but like I say, this is no need condition. I just use a little gel on it. Look how good this thing turned out. 
nice curly type perm so you can kind of wear loose and, and enjoy it right through Christmas. And I just went back over and trimmed it if there's any fish hooks on it. And you can see that this thing turned out pretty doggone good. I'm well pleased with this perm. You know? Like I said, it took me a couple hours and a half. I had to cut a flat top in between time. But, uh, you can see how good it turned out. And it's going to be fine for Christmas. You know? So that three basic process, process to neutralize conditioning. Uh, go back over it, uh, strip it to start with, get you, get it clean first, get it real clean, get all the hairspray, build up everything out, roll it up, uh, get your moisture out of it before you put the ammonia, thio, acid in it. If you do that, then it's going to take, rinse it good five minutes, lukewarm water, not too, a little bit more than lukewarm, not hot water, kind of cool water. Dry it off afterwards, using double paper towels, you can actually take a blow dryer and go over it some. Get the moisture out, put the neutralizer in, leave it to four or five minutes, uh, take it off. Don't leave it much longer than five minutes. So if you do, you could have a burn on that end. Rinse it a four or five minutes again. Trim your ends again or trim the haircut, whatever you want to do. Basically, I cut it the other day, so I didn't do much to it. Just got little ends off of it. Uh, process and neutralizing condition. So you come out with a good perm. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Ryan Cassidy. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.